graphing linear functions. Now this chapter explains how to graph linear functions from a table of values. Now example 1 wants us to draw the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. And when we do this we start with a table and then we move on to our graph. Usually our tables, now, now the numbers I'm about to pick are optional, but usually we go from negative 2 through to 0 and then through to positive 2. We usually pick numbers like this. And then you start by doing one column at a time. And each column uses the equation y equals 2x plus 1. In this column, x is negative 2. So we're going 2 times negative 2 plus 1, which equals negative 3. And then we do this column, and this time x is negative 1. So for our formula y equals 2x plus 1, we go 2 times negative 1 plus 1, and that gives us negative 1 here. And as you keep going, for instance, this one's going to be y equals 2 times 0 plus 1, which comes out as 1, and then you'll get 3, and then 5. All this working out that I've done in, down here is not necessary. You can just work them out in your head or using a calculator like so. Once you've filled in your table, you then go to your x and y axis. And what you'll notice in the very first column, and, and we'll do this one in red, in the very first column, when x is negative 2, y is negative 3. So we pick on our x line, negative 2, and then on our y line, negative 3. So negative 2, negative 3, and we just put a little dot. All right, and the next one, when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. This is here, matching with the negative 1 and negative 1. In the third row, when x is 0, y is 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. Then we've got 1, 3, and 2, 5. It should form a straight line um, because linear functions, if you look at the word linear, it has the word line in it. And linear functions form a straight line. Now I'm going to cheat. I'm going to find a line here. Otherwise it's a little difficult for me to draw straight lines. And uh, let's make it just a bit thicker. There we go. There's my straight line passing through my points. And it doesn't hurt to um, doesn't hurt to put arrows at each end just to show that this line can go on forever in each direction.